This is Radar, Find the Radar in our tape blog, coming to another edition of Movie Viewers Observation number 156. I watched Jackass Forever, and I could admit, I haven't seen the whole entire franchise. I've seen scattered movies, but everyone gets the premise. They do a bunch of, like, uh, you know, dangerous stunts that you shouldn't do at home. Unlike the, you know, the Impractical Jokers who do, like, pranks. So, like, I get the point. They have different people. They have a new set of people. You know, steve is one of the people that's famous besides Johnny Knoxville. And yeah, and it's not even 90 minutes. It's like literally 80-something minutes with credits rolling of them doing crazy stunts. You know? You know, I, it was watchable. You need something in the background that's stupid and crazy. You put that in the background. Then I watched the movie without remorse. And I'm going to tell you this. The last military s movie I watched was A Journal for Jordan. That was like a two-hour movie. Boring, boring drama that took forever to get through. And he's not even in the movie. It's more of like flashbacks to Michael B. Jordan. This one is where it's an actual action movie where, you know, they say that, you know, Guy Pierce in this movie, but I obviously didn't recognize him. But basically the movie is Jimmy Bell and Michael B. Jordan. So basically Jimmy Bell is a CIA operative and he sends their team on a mission and it doesn't really go 100%. And they're all living their civilian lives and it's a whole revenge movie that these, uh, these bad guys definitely attacked his, uh, him and everyone in the unit and he's got to seek revenge and work for the government and they think he, and all this other stuff so it's like a revenge you know action movie where he's like they, this guy won't die and that's the perfect thing because people think he's dead but he's not and he's it's just a good action movie i'm just a little bit annoyed that luke mitchell of shane to shield and blind spot and just to name some shows was in the movie for a moment instead of him dying in combat they killed him in civilian mode and i was like come on other issue was his like superior officer was another black person but it was a woman with very short hair i couldn't tell if it was a guy or girl in the beginning of the movie a little bit interesting but it's way better than the last military movie he was in then me and my roommate have been watching a lot of these straight to dvd nicholas cage movies i've seen a lot without him but this one is again stunt double where they have other person filming seeing them walk or him you know shoot a gun or smack somebody but it's literally he's like a cop who's out in the middle of nowhere because of his niece said you should live here and he witnesses a girl who's on the run or about to be shot by two crooked cops that has a whole drug ring and the whole sheriff is crooked so it's a small town crooked sheriff's department he happens to be there and because he's you know has his illness and all this other stuff it's really on the woman, Jamie King, who kind of looks with her glasses throughout the movie like Harley, you know, Margie Robbo and stuff like that. And uh, I've seen some of these actors before and I was like, where do I see them before? Oh, other movies that Bruce Willis has done, like the woman playing his niece. She was in another movie that I watched with him in there where she was dating his fake son in the movie. So it's like he gets these actors who have been in other movies of his that are straight to DVD and that's what they do. So it was a cheesy little bit movie, but, you know, with the limitations he has, the best they can do, and it was okay. Then I was like, I need to watch something short before Passover Seder. And this movie said it's an hour and 23 minutes. It literally was an hour and 15 or 60 minute movie. I could have saved it for another time and watched something shorter. But it's not like a movie made from DreamWorks, Nickelodeon, or Disney Pixar. It says Lionsgate. But, like, I don't know these people. Like, obviously, Jeremy Irons playing the bad guy. I've seen him before, but I don't really know anyone in this movie. But it had a good message where you're under oppression and you have to live by these rules. But if you don't like that, you should fight for your rights. And then you have to work together with people you have different, you know, opinions with. So, basically, this condor bird, it's like Jeremy Irons is on a council with these other condors. And they're like, we eat meat, but instead of eating you birds... We just want to eat your eggs. So for however many eggs you produce, we'll give you fruits, vegetables, and nuts, and you all live happily. But there's like, there's other places to live. You don't got to live there. And this main woman, female bird was like a rare bird, and she doesn't really produce eggs. And they were like starving, and she's married to an owl who doesn't talk. It was weird. And they have this small little chicky birdie thingy. And after she tries to fight the power, something happens, and they get sent away, and they're all lost. And they and a bat was like, I help you during the uh, nighttime. You help me out during the day. They have to learn to work together. It was interesting. So yeah, it was not a bad kids movie. It was just not the worst kids movie. It was not the best kids movie. And then I watched Last Night in Soho, and I was like, Anna Taylor Joy, she's a good actress. This Thompson McKenzie, okay. And uh, 
Matt Smith was supposedly someone in the flashback. And there's like another guy in the flashbacks who I've seen before. And literally, this movie doesn't know which lane it wants to be in. Rotten Tomatoes, for some reason, is on the same page between the critics and the and the fans. They both give it a like a good positive score, which surprised me because a lot of times they don't agree. And I usually agree with one of them. Now, the movie doesn't know if it wants to be a girl going out of her own from a small town in London where she's in a big city, going to fashion school, having to fit in. And I couldn't tell if this was in the 60s, 70s, or 80s, or 90s. But then eventually you saw some cell phones, but they didn't really... Sh- prove what decade it was in until like you have to figure it out very hard and she's struggling to fit in so she's like i'm moving on my own but then she starts having vision of murders and all these other things and uh, this this girl wants to become a singer and be a star so it was like do you want to be a horror film or do you want to be a girl trying to make it in 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 the fashion world so it's like all over the place and i'm like can we just get to the point what do these visions mean what's going on it was like eh, it was okay not the best, not the worst. It was like an hour and 50 minutes. Then I watched the movie Expired, where I don't know anyone in this movie except for Hugo Weaving playing the scientist. But again, an hour and 43 minutes. It was so drama-ish boring that it wasn't science fiction in any way. Like, yeah, they're telling on the back of the box, it's a futuristic thriller in the neon de Trent metropolis. So I don't get it. Does everyone live in Asia, or is that just the world they live in where it's all like Chinese or Japanese, everything, and there's these non-Japanese people living there. He's supposed to be like a hitman, but then he meets this singer who's an Asian girl. And he's and it's just there's some weird stuff like him having like an a, uh, a AI hooker that looks like his mother. I don't know. It's very weird. I was so confused. But it's like he gets involved with this woman and he starts like losing his ability to be an assassin and kill people. He doesn't know what to do. And everyone tells him to go find the scientist that Hugo Weaving is and to help him. And it's just confusing, like, he's like, it may not be this, it may not be that. I was just like, okay. And, like, is the movie, like, romantic? Or is he trying to save the day? Or is, you know, he's trying to figure out how to save himself? I don't know. It was just not that great of a movie. Then I was planning today on watching Batman, where I watched the first half before I went out to Sabbath, Passover lunch, come back, finish the rest. Or start a movie, watch the majority of it before I go out. But it literally was not my day, as I'm, like, two hours behind. So I'm like, like last Saturday, I'm not going to sit through a two-hour movie when it's like five o'clock. I just want to get through my day. So I put out a movie called Come On, Come On with Joaquin Phoenix, where he's like a, a strange uncle who's got to take care of his nephew. He's got a lot of behavioral and other issues. And his job is he goes out and interviews like children and asks them questions, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know why it's in black and white. I think nowadays it may cost more money to film things in black and white, but that doesn't help. The movie was so slowly moving that I felt this movie wasn't an hour and 46, 47 minutes or 45 minutes. I felt like it was two hours long. It just dragged on so long that I was like, I kind of lose interest in it. And I'm just like, okay, when is this movie going to end? And I just was like, eh. So literally the best movie that I watched this week was Jackass Forever because I knew what I was getting into. Had lots of laughs and fun while watching it. The Without Remorse movie by Michael, with Michael B. Jordan at least had a lot of action and it was cool. I would say if you have children, you can watch Birds Like Us because it's appropriate. And if you're just a Bruce Willis fanatic like my roommate is, you'll watch Out of Death. But no offense, The Last Night in Soho expired and Come On, Come On. I feel like no one should be wasting their time watching those movies. Thanks again for listening to another show of Movie Reviews Observation number 156. For On the Radar Table Log, I'm Radar. See you guys next time.